Hey guys, it's Thief Cat here. Welcome back to another part of our Fallout 3 walkthrough slash let's play. Last episode, we started and completed Act of the Song. Unfortunately, we lost Clover, our follow in the process. So that's why, even though I said very recently that we were going to start doing some side quests, I have to go back on that and we have to pick up the main quest, no pun intended, for just a little bit. Because... We should be. This will give us a follower very soon, and I want to. I want to get them. I'm trying to showcase them all before, uh, before this, before this uh, walkthrough slash let's play wraps up. So this will, this will give us a chance to knock one more down. So let's see here. Ask Scribe Rothschild for pre. Let's see, Scribe. Oh, he's right here. Isn't he also the same guy that buys these hollow tapes from us? May I start by saying that I am sorry for your loss. I was acquainted with your father many years ago. The world has lost one of its few remaining visionaries. I, yeah, okay, sweet. I have been a part of the Brotherhood for many years. Enough that I was here when Project Purity first began. I did not work directly with your father. He and his team valued their independence, and I respected that. Think nothing of it. Now, Dr. Lee has explained your predicament. You need to locate some Vault-Tec equipment. A Gek? <laughs> Goodness no, certainly not. I must say that there are some who doubt such a device really exists, <coughs> let alone works. If, however, you share your father's determination, I may be able to assist you in locating one. Possibly. I'm afraid I won't be able to assist you directly. The news Dr. Lee has brought will require me to be elsewhere. I can, however, give you access to an old pre-war computer from Vault-Tec. It may have the information you need. You'll find the terminal in the archives in the A-Ring. You are welcome. If you require further assistance, I may be able to help. Okay, first of all... I'm afraid I have other... Stop it. Talk to Scribe Jameson. Okay, where is Scribe Jameson? She Jameson's spends in? most... <sighs> we should, yeah, we'll ask about the robot soon. Very soon. You know, first. First we go to the... No, get out of my way. Out of my way. First we go to archives. Which I believe is actually this way. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, in the A-ring. I got you. Also, off-screen, I repaired Vengeance a little bit and grabbed some ammo. Welcome. You are up. Hail, Outsider. I am Scribe Jameson. Word of your ordeal has spread. I am truly sorry for the loss of your father. But if I can help you in any way, please let me know. She looks like uh, the adoring fan from Oblivion. You have? Oh my. This brings to light a sad affair for the Brotherhood. But perhaps it is something that you can assist us with. If you have the time, I have an offer for you. Good. As I'm sure you've noticed, the Brotherhood operates all over the DC ruins often detached from the main base here at the Citadel. We are short on communication equipment, so many of the groups in the field operate as independent cells, with outstanding orders. Sometimes, I'm afraid their missions end in their deaths. As Keeper of the Scrolls, it's my charge to write of each fallen brother's deeds. Exactly. A brother fallen in the field may have no one to carry word of his death back to me. In calmer times, we could send attachments and messengers to learn their fates, but with our manpower stretched thin, we have no such luxury. Which is why I must now ask you for your help. Each brother wears a holotag like the one you found. Should you find any of the fallen brethren in the field, I ask that you return their tags to me, so that I might record their deeds in the scrolls. We have access to a great deal of technology. 
And because of that, there are a number of things that we can continue to produce. I will be able to offer you caps for the tags you bring me. But from time to time, I will be able to give you something a bit more interesting. All right, I'm listening. Yes. Have you? It saddens me to hear... Their names shall be written into the scrolls to be remembered forever. As for you, here... 500 caps, huh? Okay, okay. 100 caps a thing, okay. Sounds about right. The Citadel, oh yeah, we're... Tch. I mean, dumb. Wait, can I... Yep, I will. I yes, I will. Scribe Rothschild, one of those. Oh my God. No, I'll go back to that. Okay, no, I don't. Okay, yep, so we can only go one way. Oh, it's Vault 87, huh? Uh-oh. That's what I think it is. We uh, might throw a bit of a wrench into our plans. Yeah, I think it will. What do you want? No, outside? not you, not you. You did you have any success? Yep. Ah. Step over. I, I actually I, I do kinda know where it is. I mean I haven't described the location, but I know other location. But you're just gonna show me the vault. Yeah, okay, I, I uh, yeah, whatever. Let's get through this already. Are you? Okay, well that was odd.
Yep, here it is. In all its glory. Come on. There we go. This map shows the locations of all known vaults in the local area. Vault 87 has been highlighted for you. There. Entrance to Vault... The area is highly irradiated. Lethal levels are all around the entrance. Gaining direct access will be... quite impossible. Quite simply, you don't. To attempt such a thing would be certain death for you. You share your father's determination, it seems. And in this case, you are correct. There may well be another way. Vault 87 is located very close to the site of Lamplight Caverns. It is entirely probable that the vault may be entered from within the caves. The Brotherhood simply cannot... If you do find... I wish we could do more, but the bro All of my efforts... Yeah, whatever. You guys are just... I don't even like you fuckers that much. Just whine, 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 complain. Whore technology, complain, complain, complain. Go out in there and do something for once. Holy shit. Okay, I'm not- I didn't- I- I do know what lies in 87, but I didn't plan on going there so soon, I thought. Let me try something real quick, actually. And we can get into Lamplight because of, uh, helping the slaver kids or what, and whatnot, and I think- Do I have the child- No, I don't think I have the child heart perk. And that's another way to get into Lamplight. But you guys will see what I'm talking about when I get there. This is an automated distress message from Vault Tech. Vault 101. Message begins. It feels like you left home a long time ago, but oh, perfect. I know you're still out there. I hit the back. Hope you're still alive to hear this. Things got worse after you left. The new overseer is insane. If you can hear this, please stop looking for your dad and help save us. I changed the door password to my name. If you're hearing this, and if you still care enough to help me, you should remember it. Message repeats. This is Okay guys. Everything is about the main quest. Yep. Vault it, it was it was malarkey. One oh one. Message begins. Shut up. We will pick up the main quest later. <laughs> Cause I keep flip flopping, but we are gonna do trouble on the home front, which is return to our home, our stomping grounds, Vault 101, because what's your face asked for our help, our old flame back in the day, I'm out of here, there we go, that wrench in the plans I was talking about previously, forget it, it's gone, we solved the problem, now we gotta go help the home, Oh, Stevie boy. Stevie boy, how could you? Oh, I'm back better than ever. And Jim? I'll be damned. I'll be damned. Hold. Stop right there. I don't know how you got in here, but... Hold on. Wait a minute. It's you! I hardly recognized you with all the dust and grime from out there. Guess that explains how you got that door open. You've got more experience with it than most everyone down here combined. You just thought you'd pop in? Don't take this the wrong way, but you probably ought to just turn around and not come back. Things, well, they haven't gone very well since you and your dad left. This isn't the happy vault you grew up in anymore. There's real trouble. Let me bring you up to speed. It seems like it's been a mighty long time. The night you and your dad left, everything went crazy. Between the bugs and the confusion, we lost a lot of people. When your dad opened up that gate, he let loose a whole lot of crap, if you'll pardon my language.
I'm... I'm sorry to hear that. Regardless of how things turned out down here, he was a good friend. I always figured he'd do well outside. You're not alone in that, though. In all the chaos, Amada lost her dad, too. Lots of us lost family, to tell the truth. Now Alan Max, the overseer, and he's taking a hard stance against those who want the vault to open again. I probably ought to put you under arrest and take you into the Overseer, but frankly, I know better than to try that. Meanwhile, some of your old friends think opening the vault is a good idea. I bet those rebels would like a word with you. Now more than ever. Of course, if you want, you can just walk away as if you were never here. Out of respect for your dad, I won't even tell anyone I saw you. It's not that they want to leave. It's that they want to open the door and interact with the rest of the world. But that would risk the whole vault. Well. Yeah, you see, you will recognize us with all that dirt and grime on our face, huh? Yeah. Nothing to do with the giant suit of armor. Yeah, I see I mean here, I gotta kill it. You knew it was just a rad rope. Okay, we're good, we're good. Oh man, a blast from the past. You don't belong here anymore. Yeah, yeah, we get it. We get it. We're opening that door, and to Even hell with the overseer's down. rules. You know I can't do that, Freddy. Now get back down below before I have to do something we'll both regret. What? You're gonna lock me up like you did to Brotch? You can't cage a tunnel snake, man, <laughs> because we rule. <laughs> Stay back. Oh. Uh -oh. Taylor, crap. stop You're crazy. shooting, damn it. Don't you know enough to stay away? I didn't mean to fire. I really didn't. I just wanted to scare him off. But he had a knife. I can't be too careful with those rebels. I lost my poor wife Agnes is what happened. And all the chaos and fighting, her old ticker just couldn't take it anymore. I tell you. Okay, okay, nope, nope, come here. What? What the? Okay. Okay, I see how it is. Alright, not going there. So much so much for the, uh... Freedom. Oh my god, who's actually alive? Oh, oh, we gotta put... I'm gonna go in his room. Oh, come here, come here. What's up, man? Who were, uh, who were, Wally Mac? You were another one of those, at oh, you still have the same shitty haircut. Oh boy, are you in? You should have seen my pop. He personally saved old Stanley. But guess you wouldn't know what it's like to have a hero for a dad, would you? I'm gonna beat the fuck out of you in a second. What do you expect from idiots like them? I'm just glad I was done with Butch's stupid gang before they got involved in all this. I should kill you, but I won't. I won't. I'm turning over a new leaf now. I need that good karma. I can't risk it. You're back again? It's all kind of blurry for me, but I hear I owe you for saving me. Don't expect much. The whole thing was your dad's fault in the first place. They're a bunch of hellions, that's what they are. Man, everyone around here is just miserable and an asshole. I'm glad I left. Why won't you just leave us alone? Can't you just leave us alone? The bugs were horrible. 
but my family. Those kids. Okay, you know, I'm done talking to you guys. I'm just gonna go proceed with the quest. You guys are a bunch of wieners. Don't wanna hang around any of you. Oh, hey. Damn. Look who's come waltzing back into the vault. It takes some real balls coming back here after everything you and your dad screwed up. But if you've got to be back, might as well make yourself useful. You gotta help us. What sort of help do you think I mean? You must have heard about the changes since you left, right? The deaths, the lies, the whole overseer lockdown thing? Ringing any bells? Man, they'd have rushed in here long ago if they didn't know I stole one of their guns from when they issued martial law. Anyway, you gotta help us get out of here. You gotta help me get out of here. Because anything up there has got to be better than a lifetime of the same thing down here. Think about it, man. Down here, I'll always be stuck with the same job, with the same food, with the same people forever. You and your dad had the right idea. Get out of this pit and make your own life. I'll start a gang, of course. Why, it'll be the toughest, coolest, badassest gang the Wasteland's ever seen. Hey, play your cards right, maybe I'll even let you join it, huh? Oh, Butch. Yeah, but I'm thinking it'll be a new gang. We ain't gonna just be in tunnels, you know. Besides, there's gonna be a lot more people who wanna join. Competition's gonna be tough. I heard old Stanley complaining a lot of the stuff down in the reactor got fried pretty bad. Uh, nothing too bad, yet. But he's always worrying we'll lose air filtration or whatever. Of course, if that happened, guess we'd all have to leave the vault then, huh? The damned goats. I'm a barber, you got that? There's a difference. <laughs> you left this place, so I bet you hate it as much as I do. So you can imagine how crappy it'd be to be stuck down here forever, yeah? Are you gonna force all of us to live like that, now that we've learned we could actually leave and try for something new? Just make it so we can get out of this vault, and I'll be gone, man. Then you don't ever need to see me again, okay? Okay, we got Butch's side of things. Where is Amada? Oh my god, you're back! You got my message and actually came back! Oh, thank you! Everything's gone crazy since you left, and now that you're back, you can help set things straight. Chaos doesn't even cover it. It's a nightmare down here. People died that night, and all because my father went crazy to keep someone from opening the vault. And worst of all, then we found out the vault had been opened before, and they'd lied about it all our lives! After that night, I heard Wally's father say we should never have taken you or your dad into the vault. I found out the vault used to be open, but for some reason, they closed it off when we were babies and swore to hide that it had ever happened. But keeping that lie meant Jonas's death. And even though we know the truth, the Overseer still won't let us make our own decisions. You're absolutely right. It's not like we want to abandon the vault or anything. Well, Butch does but he's too big a coward to go out on his own. Most of us had accepted that the outside was certain death and things would always stay the same down here, but now we know they don't have to be. After all, it was enough to get you and your dad to leave, so there must be something good out there. I certainly hope so. We can't keep going on like this. You will? Thank goodness for that. No matter what I say, he just doesn't listen. He just spends all day up in his office. 
But you've actually been outside, so you can tell him what it's like with first-hand experience. I should have remembered. I was just... Thanks. Okay, so now we can... Evening. It's good to see you again. We can sabotage Hi, generators, I believe. You're alive! Why is someone cowering around me? Uh, we can sabotage generators like... Butch wanted... How may I serve you, Master? Ah, another... Ah, yes, a rather unfortunate incident. In all the commotion, Miss Beatrice suffered a rather bad sprain in her left toe. The big one. Obviously, I had no choice but to amputate the leg. Why don't you? Oh, again. But of course, with your father. And so he named me the new Vault Medical. Look where you're going. Yeah, whatever. I, we might be able to speech check uh, the Overseer. If not, you know what, then. Hell, sabotage generators. I never thought you'd be back. Yeah, well, I am. Okay, so go in the corner. I can't talk to her anymore. Does it matter? Be careful. I hope you're making progress. I. Okay. Yep. Yeah, nothing. So. Speed check the uh, overseers to be the first solution. Hopefully it works. I don't want the reactor. Upper level. Hey, bud. How about you and I just have a quick little chat? Hey, man. Well, look at who came crawling back home. What's the matter? Homesick? Outside, not everything it was cracked up to be? Or was it just that daddy didn't want you anymore? Too bad. You're not wanted here. You're scum. All right. Really? Because you weren't here to talk with the last overseer. That's why I'm in charge now. I, I thought about so killing him just yet, just now. I, I promise. You, and if I don't think you've got my vault's best interests at heart. Now, I'll make this easy for you. You can walk away and let me handle the vault. Or I can put you down like a rabid dog. Your choice, kid. Most of the people in here would just get themselves killed out there. You know that better than anyone. But down here, they've got a safe life. And while we're down here, I'm in charge. Like the goat said, to whom we owe everything, including our lives. You know what? I think. God damn it. Thought I heard something. I didn't want it to happen. I, I really didn't, guys. I... <sighs> Fuck. No. No, I'm just... Son of a bitch. I'm hoping this doesn't fuck things up. I really thought you could do a speech check. I, I really did. Hopefully, 
things don't change too much. I really wanted the good karma too. I, he, he made me do it. Like, what was I, what was I supposed to do? Hey, what's the word? Wait a minute, maybe I have a chance still. It says reactor. Reactor. Oh, hey, man. What are you, uh... What are you doing down here? Why won't you just leave us alone? You've done enough damage. I don't know that I should... With all of the bugs, our water chip's pretty delicate. Okay, so maybe I missed the boat on uh, fixing the water chip. I really didn't want to kill the overseer, guys. You gotta believe me. He. I just wish he just leave, let me be. But no, he's gotta be an asshole about things. Okay, there it is. I didn't mean to lose karma. Son of a fuck. I killed people, didn't I? I killed Stanley. It's fuck, 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 fuck. Okay, this did not go as planned, I can't lie. I don't mean to keep getting bad karma and killing people now. Like, I'll admit before it was intentional, but but now I'm just trying to get away. Oh, thank goodness you're here. With everything they I knew you'd know what was happening. I I knew oh, thank God. Crazy, but I never would have thought he'd try to kill us all. It just doesn't make sense. But there's no time for that now, is there? Now, our only chance is to survive outside on our own. Maybe I can still find where some of them went. Thanks for trying to help. Alright, well we're just going to wait a little bit. Mm. 
Now, we got one more loose end to tie up this episode. Ah, perfect. Well, if it isn't my hero, the guy who sprang me from the vault, I think I owe this man a drink. Here's to raising hell and living a good life out here. Cheers! Now all we need is a gang, and we could take over this whole wasteland. Hell yeah, I do. I could be out there and kicking butt in my own gang and everything. The tunnel snakes could ride again. Or, you know, slither again. Whatever. Whoa, whoa, hey, that's cool and all, but you're just a little too intense, you know? God I damn mean... it. <sighs> okay, we're gonna go race with Karma real quick. I'll be right, I'll be, I'll be back. Don't hey. it, don't it. Where is it? Where is it? Where? Okay. I think it's... Yeah. I'm thinking that we just donate a large amount of money to the church to keep, to keep raising our karma, karma and hopefully, hopefully it works out. I'm looking for troublemakers, I guess. May Saint Monica be We humbly accept what A mo I'm just gonna keep this for a little bit and cut and then we'll see what my karma's at. Let's see, right now I am at Very evil scourge of humanity with sixty okay. Well, I'll see you guys in a second. Alright guys, we are here at neutral. Paradigm of humanity. Took us uh, about a few hundred caps, but we're here. So now we're going to go back, get Butch, and get back to kicking things up. No, I don't... I messed up big time. Saint Monica bless you. Hello. Hello. Hello, mister. Hey, what's the word? Hell yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah, you'd be perfect for my gang. You're in. Tunnel snakes rule. Hey. What's up? If this means more stuff for Butch, I'm all for it.
So he needs 44 rounds. So we can do that. <clears throat> All right, guys, perfect. So I think I'm gonna end this episode off right here. Thought we were gonna start the main quest for just a, for a little bit, but luckily I got my bearings back. Got, thought uh thought we needed to do the main quest for a bit to get that vault 101 quest to get Butch over here. I was wrong, mistaken in my mind, but luckily we got it sorted out, finished it, got Butch, and now we're ready to get rolling again. I appreciate you guys watching. Any feedback you have would be great. Any comments, any critiques, would yeah. love it. That was bad. But sure. that'll end things for today. And as always, please enjoy 